So let me set the scene. I'm a UVA nursing student. It's mid-April. We're in the blissful grace period after midterms and the finals that are coming up a little bit too quickly. It's 8.30 on a Monday morning. This is what my class schedule looks like for the day. And I'm sitting in my pharmacology class when I realize I don't have a video planned. So then I decide to film a week in my life. But I don't have my camera, so I film a couple clips on my phone. I have my pathophysiology class, take some quizzes, and then I have my case-based learning class. I get home around 2 p.m. and finally get to my camera. And now, here we are. <sighs> I am so tired, but welcome to the week in my life. This is a very last minute video. <sighs> 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 It's around 2.30 right now. I'm planning on going to the gym at about 5 p.m. So I'll probably just work on my clinical pre-work right now since I have clinical tomorrow. This is my lunch, very delicious. Got the chicken and then underneath there's like a ton of vegetables. And then Greek yogurt. I like to like mix it up with my chicken and veggies. Just finished my clinical pre-work. I'm printing it out now. And now I'm gonna have a little snack of matzo and cream cheese. If you've never had matzo and cream cheese before, I highly recommend, it is very yummy. I mentioned I'm going to the gym at five. I'm going with my friend Mary, but I am actually gonna go hang out with her for a little bit before we head over. <sighs> I'm very sad right now because I dropped my matzah all over the ground. Like I was closing the door behind me and I was just gonna take it with me. And then I walked down my steps and dropped my matzah. You can see me locking the door, holding my matzah. I literally smile because I'm so excited. And then oh, I just dropped it and I just go, oh my gosh, <laughs> I was so upset. <laughs> and then I just threw it away. So my camera died at the gym, but I'm back now. I'm fully showered, feeling good, ate some food. I still need to eat dinner though, but I'm gonna wait to do that first because I'm going to make a couple thank you cards real quick. Just because I'm getting so tired and I figured I would do that before getting too, too tired and then I'm gonna eat afterwards. So I'm making three thank you cards. One is for my clinical instructor. The second one is my like assistant clinical instructor and then the clinical TA because tomorrow is actually my last day of clinical for the entire semester, which is really crazy. So basically I just have these envelopes. One of them white and then the other ones are off-white they're like eva fancy envelopes and then i got these like little fancy eva cards as well i literally wrote on like the back of an essay like kind of an idea of what i want to do so i'm probably going to do this on like the front of the card and then on the inside i'll just have like thank you so much and then people can sign around it i think i'm just going to freehand it hope for the best really quick though before i start i wanted to show you guys the little birthday present that mary got me it's a few weeks late because we both kept forgetting about it but look how sweet this is so first it's this custom custom journal that she got with my name on it, which is just so nice. And then she wrote a little note on the inside and yeah, I'm just, I love it so much. The color is so pretty. I have no idea what to use it for though. I feel like it has to be something special. And then she also got me a shot glass since I turned 21 and it says good times go who's, which is funny because I go to UVA and we're the who's. So that's what that's from. Ta-da! I am finally done. That took me a little bit longer than I thought it would. I think it turned out pretty good, especially considering that it was like free-handed. And then in the morning, everybody will just like go and sign them right there. I decided to have some of the shrimp fettuccine that I made. I meal prepped it. I meal prep all the time. Just put it in a bowl, heat it up. It is so so good. And it was like super easy to make too. The other day I had a period craving where I was like, oh my gosh, this is the most genius idea I've ever thought of. And it was putting peanut butter on Oreos. And then I told Sarah who I live with, she's my homie, my housemate. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the most delicious thing ever. I'm a genius. And she was like, oh, they do that in Parent Trap. And I like totally forgot about that. Suddenly I felt like less of a genius, but I still like to pretend that I came up with it on my own because I forgot that that happened in the movie. Look at that. I'm gonna have one more. Before I eat this though, I'm gonna go ahead and put away the Oreos and peanut butter so that I don't continue to eat more. I swear, if you haven't tried this before, you need to. I'm gonna put on this flannel even though it doesn't match my pajamas at all. Let me turn this light on. Oh. Anyway, I've decided to eat some dates. I've been a little bit addicted to dates recently. They look like this. Okay, this lighting is really bugging me. It looks like a really big raisin. <laughs> There's a pit on the inside too. Oh. Apparently you're supposed to refrigerate them after opening. Well, I definitely haven't done that. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna go ahead and journal for the night and then go to bed. Good morning. 
I am so glad it's my last day of clinical. I'm just so tired. We have to be at the hospital at like 6.45 in the morning to get up really early and then I have to drive there and then park and then walk to the hospital. I can't tell if this is genius or really stupid. So I have some Starbucks left over from literally I think two days ago. Since it's bright and early in the morning, I was like, I'm gonna finish it today. But I'm gonna make my own cold foam to put on top of it so then it tastes a little like newer. I don't know. <laughs> Then you get some caramel. Literally, no one would ever know. Gotta give it a taste. This was a genius idea. I am on my way to clinical. I'm gonna go pick up my friend Aniston and then we're going to have a grand old time. I'm not able to vlog during clinical, obviously, because we're in a hospital. Basically, for those of you who don't know, clinical is just when we're like practice nurses pretty much and we follow a nurse around and we help out and we do different things. We practice our different skills and we get to interact with real life patients in a real hospital. Obviously, you can't vlog that stuff. I'm literally gonna cry. Aniston just stopped by my car. She just went back in to go grab a sweatshirt, but she got me a little gift. I don't know what it is, but it's a thank you gift apparently for me driving here all semester. That is so nice. Okay, I'll see you guys after clinical. Bye. Okay, let's just do that. Oh, that, that is cool. Yeah. Like, can you take one like team. this? Go, go team. Go team. Go team. <laughs> Wait, is it the video? Oh, it's, it's going? Yeah, it's going. That's all time. There. Jazz hands. Yeah, right. <laughs> one, two, three, go team. Oh, okay. Four on three. One, right. two, three, four. Four. <laughs> oh, a bus just went in the way. There they are. Zooming in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm back from clinical. I'm so excited to see what Anderson got me. This girl, she gave me a pen light. <laughs> I think it was one of the first clinicals this semester. Aniston accidentally stole like five pen lights, which like there's a bajillion of them lying around, so it doesn't even matter. But <laughs> that's so funny that she gave me one. Oh my gosh, did she draw this? That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. That's so nice. Look at this cute little sticker. Oh my gosh, she got me a Roots gift card. What the heck, Aniston? Oh my gosh, she got me tea. <gasps> This is literally so thoughtful because I was just telling her how I'm trying to like decrease my caffeine intake. <clears throat> In my defense, I already drank all of the tea that Aniston got me. <laughs> and these are literally all caffeine free. <laughs> oh, and it smells so good. This was, oh my gosh, I have to, I'm gonna text her. Look at how beautiful that is. I was so amazed by the artwork that I didn't even realize that it said thank you so much. Aniston and her puns, oh, I love her. I'm so tired. I have to do my post-clinical work. It's not due until like 11 tomorrow, but I want to get it done today. I wanted to like maybe film a video today. I honestly just want to like close my eyes for a little bit. Do nothing. Maybe I'll just like give myself like 30 minutes to chill. <sighs> take a quick little nap or something. I'm about to take a shower. Just kidding. I already did. Gotcha there. <laughs> I literally like rolled up my leggings all the way because they're really long on me and the shower is wet right now since I just took a shower. I didn't wash my hair though since I washed my hair yesterday. <sighs> Fantastic. I'm putting on some more sunscreen just because like I'm going back out in a little bit to go give my brother the car. I seriously loved my clinical today. It was like the best last experience ever. First of all, my nurse was amazing. Basically, we get like assigned to a specific nurse that we like follow around and help out and stuff. And she was just like the most wonderful nurse, probably my favorite that I've had all semester. I learned so much. She was just like the embodiment of what I want to be as a nurse. And then second of all, it was just like a crazy day. So many things happened and I wish I I could share it with you guys, but I can't just because of like patient privacy and whatnot. I am gonna be journaling all about it today. Oh, I wish I could share it. <laughs> like when I say crazy, it was pretty crazy. My hair just feels so like, ugh. I feel like this looks way better. I ended up braiding my hair. I just did a little bit of makeup, just did like mascara and concealer. A little bit of blush. I need to go ahead and get my shoes because it's almost 3 p.m. now and I'm about to go give my brother the car. I think he's driving home or something. I don't know what the heck he's doing. I've literally just been hanging out, which was on Honestly, kind of nice and then when I get back I am planning on maybe filming a video fingers crossed that I actually stick to that it literally took an hour to go back and forth because there's so much traffic right now I picked up Ben from his
his class and then he wanted to stop by his frat house to get a cup of coffee real quick and then we drove back to my place and normally that would have taken about 20 minutes but it took almost an hour <sighs> so much traffic um also i got hit by a car it was super low-key but like still not fun we were literally sitting in traffic and there was like a line of cars behind us and then the car just came up and hit us i don't know i wasn't even like looking i didn't see it happen because i was like talking to ben and we were sitting in traffic and i just like felt my car like jolt forward a little bit and i didn't even realize what had happened at first because i like had my foot on the brake and i wasn't expecting to be hit by a car in standstill traffic like we hadn't just like moved or anything we were literally just sitting there for like a minute and then it happened and i was like oh my god it was like super light it was like a little like love tap but enough for the car to like move forward and i was like oh my god what did i do and the guy behind me was like like, I'm so sorry. Anyway, it's all good. The car has like a little scratch on the back, which sucks, but I'm good. We're live, we're fine and safe, and that's what matters. I genuinely do not know where the time went. It's 9.25. Oh, bright, 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 bright. I feel like this light is so awkward. <laughs> that looked terrible. So I was planning on filming a video. By the time you're watching this, the video is already up. But as I'm currently filming this, I still need to film that video. It's a journal catch up with me video. It's literally just going to be like a journaling marathon, which I've done before. But instead of a marathon, it's going to be like little sprints over the course of however many days. So I still do have time to at least start it tonight. I'm going to make my bed real quick. Ta-da! Is that beautiful or what? Looks so much better. I need to like move the camera though. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should probably try to get a thumbnail picture real quick. Mm -hmm. I don't like that my leggings slide up. I literally think I'm gonna go change my leggings just for this thumbnail picture. There we go. See, now they don't like fall down. I didn't get as much filming done tonight as I would have liked, but I did get some done and that is what matters. I'm gonna finish the video like throughout the week this week. I did some little updates to like past journal entries really like nothing that big actually like i literally did this because <laughs> i accidentally skipped these two pages i didn't even do my actual journal entry yet though which like is kind of funny because that like was the whole point of the video but i'm gonna do that real quick and then go to bed because i have class at 8 30 tomorrow morning oh my god i'm literally so stupid i was literally about to walk out the door and then i realized that my brother still has the car <laughs> and class starts in like less than an hour and he's probably asleep your call has been forwarded to his oh my god i just checked his location he's literally at home oh, i have to call my mom <laughs> mom i totally forgot that i need the car for today and you uber yeah okay well looks like i'm ubering to class good morning good morning we're just here and we just finished patho <laughs> i mean farm we're all tripleting Wait, show them your spider bite and see what they think. Okay. It's my spider bite. Got it this weekend. It's bread and it really hurts. Comment down below should she get a doctor's appointment. We just finished Pat though. <laughs> they just gave I us free there. ice cream. <laughs> so I'm on a date right now. <laughs> Isn't my date so hot? Oh my god. <laughs> It's our first date, so. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, have a great afternoon. <laughs> Thank you. You're doing, you're doing wonderful. <laughs> Guys, that was such a good hug. Yes. It, they like literally swarmed us and we're like, who needs a mom hug? That was so proud of you. I know, that was so cute. Me as a mom. <laughs> my leg looks so pale. I'm gonna do the mermaid. <laughs> And I go get work done at the Rotunda. Woo! <laughs> Woo! We Who's love it. Rotunda? Who's excited? Let's go upstairs. This is literally the most embarrassing thing ever. Look at the sunburn that I got. It's just this one leg. This one doesn't have it because I was like sitting like that. We weren't even out that long. This is what sucks about being so pale. I'm glad I had sunscreen on my face, but I didn't have any on my body and now I'm suffering. I stayed up like way too late last night on FaceTime and it just has thrown off my entire day. I took a nap for like over an hour, which is so unlike me. Normally my naps are literally like 10, 15 minutes. And even after sleeping, 
for like it was almost an hour and a half just now i still feel like i could go to bed for the night i don't know if i'm gonna film today oh i really should because i'm going to a semi-formal tomorrow and also it's my friend izzy's birthday on friday i don't know i'll figure it out so i will shamelessly say that i love asmr those of you who get it get it those of you that don't i've been there i used to think it was the cringiest weirdest thing ever and now i just I love it. It's so stimulating for my brain. Sometimes it helps me super focus and sometimes it just like really is so soothing and makes me sleepy. And in the sleepy state that I am in right now, I feel like it would just really hit the spot. And my favorite ASM artist just uploaded a video and I'm like, oh, cannot wait to just chill in my bed, listen to some ASMR and journal. That's what I'm going to do. I feel like I really want to show that some days are really productive for me and then other days are like today where it's not as productive. Even though I got work done on on the lawn and at the rotunda today like I really didn't do that much work and then I came home and literally just took a nap and did nothing and here I am it's 8 30 right now and I am prepared to go to bed as much as I like to show the productivity for like inspiration and just it's more interesting to watch because nobody really wants to see like somebody sitting around and doing nothing all day I do still like to show that sometimes I sit around and do nothing all day because like I'm human too I need rest I need breaks and time to just do nothing so that my brain doesn't get so overloaded so I feel like it's important to show that especially because I don't want to set like an unrealistic standard I'm a really big advocate for listening to your body's needs yes there has to be a balance of like discipline to get your stuff done but if you're really feeling tired and you're really not feeling up for it give yourself a break if you haven't had one anyway I'll catch y'all tomorrow starting off the morning with a shower and laundry This is my random concoction of a breakfast. We've got scrambled eggs with spinach and extra sharp cheddar cheese, matzo and cream cheese, and an apple. I just, I didn't know what I was feeling today, so I did a little bit of like a lot of things. I'm trying so hard to not be like vlog shy right now since I'm vlogging in public. It's almost 90 degrees right now. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. I'm walking to class right now. It's almost 1 p.m. One of the things that I've been thinking about today was just how grateful I am to feel comfortable wearing a tank top like this because I didn't really share too much of this on my channel, but I used to have really really bad skin in high school especially like on my back I would never ever ever wear something like this so I don't know just wanted to like think about that hey guys leaving real right now <laughs> quickest class ever it's such a blessing because it's 90 degrees out right now Bye. today has been going by a little bit faster than I had thought I'm going to marry semi formal tonight this is what I'm wearing I didn't get the chance to film more of my video today time has just been flying by I'm like speed getting ready and I'm about to head out the door you should take them. Yeah. It's a little bit like orange marker. Sunburny. Before? Wait, why do I kind of want one of these? No, let me get it. Let me get it. She also wants to be like. I thought you were going to be like. Yeah. I thought you were going to be like. Yeah. I told myself I wasn't going to be having coffee today, but here we are. I don't know what it is about this week, but it has felt like such an off week. Every day, I just, I feel like my mental focus is just gone. I don't know. This week has just been weird. I'm like typically a homebody too, and so the thought of going out tonight after I just went out last night, ugh. I just, I really don't want to. But it's Izzy's birthday, so I'm going to. I like doing stuff in. That's why for my 21st birthday, I went out to dinner, but like the main thing that I did was like at my place. I really like just being in my pajamas and hanging out. Don't get me wrong, I love dressing up and taking pictures and stuff, but I pretty much just like dressing up and taking pictures. I don't really like staying out after that. <laughs> so anyway, I just, I needed a pick me up. Hello. <laughs> my beautiful coffee. I feel like the reason for my off week this week is mainly because I feel like I'm still recovering from March. March was just like a jam-packed, busy, busy, busy month for me in so many ways. Like school, it was midterms, and then I was doing a lot of like sponsorship stuff and YouTube stuff on top of just like wanting to prep for my 21st birthday. And then like after that and everything died down for a little bit, I just, I've been recovering. <laughs> coffee taste test. 
I feel like you can't go wrong with the pre-made Starbucks coffee. I feel like I'm the kind of person that like productivity comes easily to me because of how much I've trained myself. I typically am like super disciplined with like making my to-do lists and sticking to them. And that's like the biggest thing that has felt off about this week is I just like haven't been doing that. What was it like Tuesday that I was filming my video? And then I was like, I'm gonna do it the next day. And then the day after that, and I haven't even filmed at all. Maybe I just like kind of burnt myself out a little bit in March and now I'm just having to recuperate. I wanna just like listen to my mind, my body, take care of myself, but also like push myself, you know? Have this off week, chill out and relax and rest. But like, it's not just gonna go away one day, you know? At some point, probably today, I should start pushing myself to get back into it so that you don't fall into a rut. Now that I've slept in all morning, <laughs> I am going to just kind of gather myself. I have my computer here. I'm gonna go through, make some to-do lists for today, the next week or so, and just start to get a little bit back on track. My mom is telling me it's time to work out. I really don't wanna go to the gym right now because it's far away. So I'm gonna be just doing stuff here with dumbbells. I have these 15 pound dumbbells. I'm gonna be, ooh, that didn't sound good. I'm just gonna be working out, doing, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have a plan. I recently was taught this thing called tiger push-ups where apparently you like start like this with your forearms and then you go, huh. that didn't sound good for my elbows. <laughs> Maybe I'll use like a 10 pound dumbbell, do a little core workout with it. Then we'll go from there. I'm on day eight of my period and it doesn't seem like it's slowing down yet. So <sighs> I really am not in the mood for a hefty workout right now, but I've been really bad this week about going to the gym. So I have to do something. Oh, I've had enough. I'm gonna do my makeup super quickly. Ta-da! Okay, my makeup is done. Now I really need to get to filming. It probably won't be for too long because I still need to eat some dinner and then head over for Izzy's party. The journal and ketchup video that I'm filming is gonna go up this Sunday and today's Friday, which means I'm gonna have to finish filming it tomorrow and then edit it later in the day tomorrow and then get it up for Sunday. It is time to journal. I'm gonna film some more for the journal and ketchup video. Again, that video is already up on my channel, so go check it out. Maybe I'll include like a little behind the scenes clip here or just like a little journaling clip. I have to leave soon. mashed potatoes. I can't remember if I put this on the vlog or not already, but I discovered instant mashed potatoes, like microwavable mashed potatoes. And like, don't get me wrong, they're not anything in comparison to real mashed potatoes, but I do love it. I'm like hurrying because I have to head out soon and I actually should have left already, but it's the fit. You look so cute. Thank you. Oh my goodness, the shorts work perfectly. I know, I really love them. These are Sarah's shorts, by the way. I'm weird, I like put Greek yogurt and cheese on my mashed potatoes. <laughs> I need to leave. Hi guys! So today is Izzy's birthday. Happy birthday! Oh, we're wearing the same thing. Yay. Oh my god! Yay. 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 The sun is setting in the background. So we have a really Oh my gosh. It is pouring down rain right now. I have to get to my car. Protect the camera. Oh my gosh! Other than the rain, it is a good morning because Oh, it's kind of like quieting down a little. Wow, of course, after I just run through the pouring rain, but it is a good morning. It literally just like stopped. <laughs> Bro, are you kidding me? It's still a good morning because I'm heading to the gym and I also found the necklace that my brother got me when he was in Israel, so I'm glad that I found it. Good gym. We're gonna go play some water polo again. Oh yeah, well, there's a water polo tournament going on right now. Now we're gonna work out and cry. Vlog, I donkey kicked. <laughs> no, I didn't donkey kick. I you kicked this did. man. It was kind of a donkey I kick. kicked this man when Aww. I was doing a cable kick. And she goes, she goes, hee haw, like a donkey. 
and I felt so bad. And what else happened at the gym? Oh, like this is so embarrassing. Guys, like I am looking very rough today. It's rainy, I'm, I haven't showered today. Remnants of last night, like just not good. And this guy comes up to me and he's like, are you a fourth deer? Um, but I'm like, no. And he was like, well, you're cute. I want to take you out sometime. And it was just like so awkward because I was like, I have a boyfriend. But I respect it, honestly. No. He was, he was polite about it. Like, he wasn't like, because I want to take you out. Wait, what happened if he watches this? Maybe he will. Maybe he's been watching you on my vlogs. You're very nice. Um, I've, I've been cuffed up for four years now, though, so. Yeah. I got my massage gun. Very excited. That's literally insane. Did you see my hand? Look <laughs> at my pinky. Huh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It feels so good on your lower back. I can feel like my entire central nervous system vibrating. This is only the lowest setting too. It's like moving so fast, like you can't even see it moving back and forth because it's going so fast. It doesn't even look like it's touching it. How does that work? What the heck? I mean, I'm touching it. Wait, I'm so confused what's happening right now. I have been so horrible at vlogging today. I showered and my hair is literally almost dry because I just have been not being productive. Honestly, the leg day just wore me out. I really, really, really need to finish my video that I've been filming and then I need to edit the entire thing, which is what I'm going to spend the rest of my day doing afterwards. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. And I'm not done with my journal entry yet. But if you've already seen the video, you've already seen this, but this is like the little start of the journal entry. I've been writing quite a few pages. I'm almost done with the journal entry. I think I might honestly take a break with it and then at least like start editing and then I'll finish this journal entry like later tonight just because like... I have so much editing to do. I have to edit a whole video. This wasn't even a super busy week. I just like didn't have the energy. I'm gonna go edit. Should I vlog tomorrow on Sunday because I started this vlog on Monday? Maybe I'll do that. I'll see you guys in the morning. I made coffee for me and Sarah. I was editing all morning, it took so long. And then I just got back from going to a park with two of my friends, Juju and Anjali. It was really chaotic. I'll insert some of the clips now. Take my turn. <laughs> all right, go. Okay. Okay, okay, great. Okay, see you later, bye. bye. <laughs> Basically, our patho professor said that if we go to any park over the weekend and take pictures, then we can get an extra point or two on our final. So we were like, heck yeah, that sounds amazing. Not gonna pass up that opportunity. Now I have a review session to go to for my farm exam since I have an exam coming up in a couple days. I haven't even started studying for it. It's really bad. And then the following week, I have a ton of finals. So it's about to get really busy. I said it mimics the GLP-1 sort of protein at receptors. I feel like I've been sitting for most of the day with like editing and studying for farm. <sighs> I'm taking a quiz now. I'm not ready for the week, but what's good about this coming week is that I don't have clinical on Tuesday because last Tuesday was my last day of clinical. That is such a blessing. I'm in Sarah's room. We're filming a little clip for, or what are we filming? A scene for her a film scene class. from my script for my filmmaking class. And Carrie excited. is engineering all of this. She got is... the tripod. It's gonna be legit. She's crazy, but she's gonna do it, and it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Woo! Behind the scenes. Oh, you can see me in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> I'm dead. I feel like a spider is like on top of me. <laughs> okay, this was sleep. I like that too. This is so funny. It looks like we're like not making, not making a movie. <laughs> Whoa, Sarah. <laughs> We finished Sarah's scene. Carrie is a film movie maker. Nah, she's too nice. I'm working on a group project, but actually I'm not gonna show you. It doesn't look very cute. <laughs> the theme is a little questionable for a college project. Ready, a little flash. That's just, uh... We have to present it to our lecture hall full of college students, so. That'll be really exciting. I hope you enjoyed the week in my life. It was a long one. Yeah, that's all I got to say. Peace out. Bye, guys.